Welcome to this series on data structures and algorithms. In this series, I introduce various concepts in data structures and algorithms in a visual and intuitive style. So often, when you learn this material, you're presented with tools and algorithms from the book and how to use them. But I think there's a lot more to the subject. Throughout the series, I want to take a different perspective. In a sense, when learning this material, I want you to see yourself as an explorer that finds particular problems and then tries to discover the appropriate solutions to these problems. At the end of the series, I want you to leave away with the sense that with enough deep thought, you could have come up with many of these ideas. I believe this perspective will not only give you a better understanding and appreciation for the incredible ideas in this field, but also make you more prepared to tackle future problems that you encounter, whether it be at job interviews, work, or everyday life. One of the key components of this new perspective is visualization. When I was a student learning this material for the first time, I remembered I struggled to put an appropriate visual to many of the complex concepts in this topic. And without the appropriate visualization, I felt like I was missing something. I'm going to try really hard in this series to make sure we find the right way to visualize concepts and then use those visualizations to gain key insights. I'm hoping to cover a lot of fundamental ideas in this series. Here are some of the many topics I hope to discuss in this series. We're going to start off with some of the more fundamental data structures and key ideas behind them, and then I'm planning on transitioning to some foundational algorithms. After we go through the fundamentals, I'll also include some bonus material you may not see in your standard data structures and algorithms course. Sprinkled into the series will also be the occasional work through and analysis of some really cool problems that bring together many ideas we've discussed. I'm hopeful that people of all levels can get something out of this series. I'll try my hardest to not assume too much prior knowledge, but because it is a discussion on core computer science concepts, I will have some code sprinkled in here and there. It's not going to be the main focus. This series is not about teaching you how to program. However, I will be using Python because of its easy readability. So if you've never seen code before in your life, it may be a challenge. If you're watching this video, you're probably in one of the following three camps. For those of you who have already taken a course on data structures and algorithms, I'm hoping the presentation of these ideas will give you an alternate perspective and maybe reinforce some concepts that you may not have realized you were shaky on. If you're currently taking a data structures course right now, I think a lot of these videos will be great supplements to what you're already learning. And for those of you who are just starting in computer science, welcome. And even though it may be a little tough to jump right into these concepts, I hope this series will give you a glimpse into some of the amazing ideas in computer science. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you took a moment to like the video and subscribe to get notified when future videos come out. If you would like to support this channel, check out the Patreon page linked in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.